Hello! Want to do some trash to treasure tie dyeing? So it's not really tie dyeing, but it's kind of tie dyeing. So what you'll need today are some permanent markers, some rubbing alcohol, an eyedropper, and a rubber band, a coffee can, and also some kind of cloth that you want to do your tie dyeing on. So I was thinking, um, I've got handkerchiefs here, but you could do an old t-shirt and then make a reused t-shirt bag out of it. You could do um, any kind of t-shirt and redesign it, put some designs on it, put a picture on it. This is a handkerchief that I've done where I kind of did some different designs. There's a tree over there, some flowers, a butterfly. Uh, but it also really works if you just want to do some designs like swirls and dots and all kinds of other things. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Get your materials and meet me back here. All right, so since we're going to be working with permanent marker, you probably want to find something to put under your cloth, especially if you're going to be working on your countertop or your table. You don't want to get marker on it. Um, so pretend you've done that. I've got a kind of a double thickness of fabric here, so I'm not too worried about it bleeding through. But all I've done is take my markers and I made like some polka dots. I'm not really going for a picture here. It's more going to be a design. So polka dots, polka dots, polka dots. All of the things that you draw are going to be sort of distorted because the color is going to spread when we drop the alcohol on it. Then I made a swirl over here, made some other swirls. I'm kind of limited on my colors. But the interesting thing about these colors is that um, so if you remember in art class there are some colors that are other colors combined like purple is red and blue combined black is the presence of all colors so when you drop alcohol on it it separates those colors out for instance if you look here on my butterfly you see all this where I have black outlining the color of the black started to spread. So you start to see the reds and the pinks and the blues start to come out of that. So it's pretty interesting. So what you think you are designing may not necessarily be what it turns out to be, which is kind of fun. Some kind of the same thing with tie dye. So I'm going to take a um, coffee can and you want to use a pretty good sized coffee can. It can be metal or plastic, doesn't matter in this case. And then I'm going to center my design in the middle of the coffee can. Then I'm going to take a rubber band and make this really tight across the top, like a drum. And then, excuse my dishwasher, and then I'm going to take the rubbing alcohol <clears throat> and suck some of this up. And then just drop by drop, I'm going to drop some of the alcohol on the design and you don't want to saturate it too much um, otherwise it's just going to be like a blob you just want to get a few drops on there so the color starts to bleed and it will only go as far as the liquid absorbs into the fabric so if I want this design to go all the way out to the edges, I'll spread this all the way out to the edges. Okay? This is pretty smelly. Also something that you need to have parents' permission to do, and also you need a uh, parent to supervise. Now all of that extra alcohol is dripping down here into the coffee can. You can actually, if you're going to use the alcohol again to do the same project just suck it back up and put it back in the container so you can start to see kind of what's happening there with my design it will continue to bleed out the good thing about this is that alcohol dries very quickly so this is going to dry pretty quickly especially if you put it out in the sun to dry today is not a very nice day so that's not going to work but I can let this dry right on my coffee can if I want to and I will have a lovely design that I can use as gift for other things. Have fun with it. Don't forget to reuse.